At first I didn't think I had all the parts and I picked these up in my hand and dropped them on the counter and they split apart. They were stuck together. You got six sets of small grommets, six sets of larger ones, little hardwood when you have the hole cutter, a little tapered end goes down, you smack it with the hammer, there's a bigger cutter, put the material down, smack it with the hammer, or when you're going to punch things, you're going to screw either small or big adapter onto this little hammering device. You put the bottom of the grommet in here, you put your material on, put the hole, you put the top grommet on, oop, wrong size, put the top grommet on, put the concave part upward, meaning the part that goes like this upward, bring that over and start hitting it. And you don't want to smack it real hard. You kind of want to hit a little bit and turn it and turn it. Move the whole thing. Get a little pressure all the way around. This is not one of those press tools. So you have to be careful this doesn't wobble. Otherwise you get a lopsided seal. I don't know how the brass is measured in these grommet sets. But previous sets I had it was real thin. And when you hit the grommets it would split. This general tool set has really thick brass grommets. They worked well, each one of them, no splits. They folded correctly also. First thing we're gonna do is punch a hole in this particular mat. There's a piece of hardwood included and there's a little hole punch. It's got a tapered end on it. And you're gonna put the tapered end pointing down and just line it up where you want it on the material. You can get a nice hammer. I'm using a ball peen hammer. Just give it a swack or two, depending on your material. And it just pops a nice clean hole out of the material you're trying to put the grommet in. So as I said, the material on these grommets are really nice. You take the tall grommet, if you will, the one with the sleeve on it, and put it up through the bottom of your hole, and then you take the little washer grommet and put it on top. Make sure the washer grommet, the concave part, or the part that rises, is on the top of the bottom grommet. You'll have the material in between. You can see it's a little dome-shaped. There's a little metal platform you put your bottom grommet in. There's one for both sides grommets. I'm going to put it on a larger piece of hardwood. And I'm going to put the material down on top of that where the hole is. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to press down. This is thick foam exercise mat. I'm going to put the top washer on again with the concave side up. And I'm going to get the little hammering tool. There's two sizes that attach here. This is for the small grommet, or you can screw in the larger one. And then give it a good couple schwacks. You can see on the hardwood for cutting the hole, it did make some impressions as I used this a couple times. But the results are very nice. I got a little chip in there on the edge of that. I made a mistake. But the top part of the grommet came out nice and round. And the little washer that's bent over, it's got a nice, perfect, on the inside, circular ring. So that means the metal bent over the sleeve that was coming up from the bottom. Here's another picture on the other side. And here's the other side of it also. Really nice grommet set. Thick brass. Highly recommended.